Hello everyone, I'm Rose and this week we are talking about um, spell creation and ritual creation. Um, I've been trying to make this video for a lot of times already, but there was always something that was bubbling or something. Anyway, before I do it again, um, before I'm going to talk about how I create spells, I wanna, I'm going to try to explain how magic works and how I think it works. So, okay, I've been trying this for a lot of times. Anyway, um, I see magic as a kind of energy and um, the energy will flow to a destination and the destination will be your intention and I will come back to that later in my video. Uh, anyway, um, it's like if you think something, it gives energy and that energy will flow to the destination. And um, for example, if you keep thinking positive things, positive things will come to you. But if you um, are depressed and you keep thinking negative, negative things will come back to you. So it's like you always have to keep thinking positive things if you want to have positive things. Um, and I'm going to um, tell you a little background story of my life. Um, there was a time, like I think three or four months ago, um, I started to read in my book um, The Inner Temple from Christopher Pentek, I think. And he had a little exercise. And before that exercise, I didn't really believe in the energy that really moved and could do things and I, I kind of believed in magic but I couldn't like I couldn't see how it would work and um, the energy and the ex um, how do you say it the exercise sorry <laughs> the exercise was um, I did it with a friend and his mother and um, we were in the garden and one person was at this side and the other one at that side, like three meter distance. And um, my friend had his, his eyes closed. And uh, when I pushed, but like from a distance, so I had to put energy to him uh, and my attention, like I want him to move. And um, his eyes were closed, so he couldn't know when I did that. But every time that I pushed, like a few seconds later, he went back. And um, then the exercise was to pull, and he came closer. So um, also, so that worked. So I was like, oh, energy really flows, and it works with your intention to let him move. And then he tried it, and it worked too. So it doesn't. You don't have to have um, cis psychic abilities to use magic. And um, yeah, it's really hard to explain, but um, like I said, he could do the same. So we were like moving forward and backwards just with intention and the energy flowing. And that's a little bit how magic works. If you think the energy will move to what you need. Anyway, um, not sure if it all makes sense, but... At least I tried. Anyway, um, before I make a spell, my intention is really, really important for me. And I think it should be important for, ev for everyone. Because um, you have to make sure what exactly that you want. Um, I'm, I can't find an example right now. But um, like a very good rule for me is harm none. Like... Um, also the rule of three. Yeah, I'm looking at my notes because there's a lot of let a lot to say, but I don't have a lot of time, so I have to make it short because my last video was 20 minutes and it's way too long. <laughs> anyway, um, so the rule of three, harm none, and I really believe in karma. So, for example, you want a job, and your intention is I want to have a job. Um, yes, okay, you can look for a job and stuff, you do the work, but if you say, I want, it, I just want a job, doesn't mean what kind of job, and also the harm none part, maybe because of your spell, someone gets fired, and you get his job, but you harmed someone, because he got fired, 
or for example um the money spell um like you do you do the money spell and then you find uh, let's make it um a lot like 200 euro on or dollar doesn't matter on the street and you're like yay i'm rich now the spell worked but maybe someone lost that money on the street and he needed it for his child or for food or to survive it harmed someone so you have to keep that in mind that you always what i do is after every spell i always say as it harm none so will it be because I will never wanting to have someone to get harmed. <laughs> that sentence didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. Um, anyway, um, checking my notes. Oh, also, if you make a spell, never do it against someone's will. For example, um, your friend is sick and you want him to, you want to do a healing spell. I really can't find my words. But anyway. Um, so you want to do a healing spell that he doesn't know about it. That's harming. Even if it's healing, that it doesn't really make sense, but it just like that. I will never do that. Like, even um, if it's my grandmother and she doesn't know I'm a Wiccan and she's sick, I will never do a spell without explaining her and telling her I'm doing that. Um, also, a love spell. That's just wrong. You will never make someone to love you with a spell. That's that's harming. And karma will come back to you. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, what I also do is um, when I make a ritual or a spell, I always will uh, search for symbols. So um, candles, colors, herbs, tools on my altar that I use for it. Just to create that little energy bowl. Um, and uh, before I uh, lit the candles, um, light my incense of herbs, I will always um, meditate and visualize. I will cast the cir my circle to protect myself. To uh, I also call my elements and my god and goddess. And um, after casting the circle and evoking and calling my god and goddess and stuff, I will, like I said before, meditate. And what I mostly do is, like, I hold my hands like this to hold the energy. And then I meditate on it. I visualize where that energy has to be, like, where I want to have it, like, for finding a job or getting money or finding love. But... Not for a specific person, but just having love in your life. That can be a spell. And I hold that energy and I ask my god and goddess to guide the energy to the destination, the intention. And um, then after um, the candles are lit and stuff, you, really, you can really feel that energy of all the symbols and the smell. And it just... If you do it, you will understand what I mean. But it's just so special to feel, really feel it. And then after I set my spell, I let it go. And I always say, as I said before, as it harm none, so will it be. Because I, I just want to keep myself safe and others. And that, that's very important. Also, um, a little reply on um, all the others that talked about it in the previous videos. It's about rhyming in your spell, like if you write stuff and if it does it have to rhyme or not. Um, no, it does, doesn't have to rhyme, but I most of the time I do that because it's easier to remember everything. Because um, if you forget a word, you can be like, oh, and it rhymed on that, right, I have to say this. Um, it's easier for me because my brain is like goldfish and I always forget stuff. And I don't want that to happen when I do a spell or a ritual. So um, what I do most of the time is I write it down and I keep thinking about it. And that thinking is already making your your magic because of the energy, like I explained in the beginning. Um, and then I keep remembering it. And then I just lay away the paper. And then I start with my ritual and spell and the casting and stuff. Because 
what you really don't want to have is like, oh, I forgot what I wanted to say. Let's take the paper and read it. And that's that's not how you do it. Like, that's my opinion. Um, I think that's like an energy block. If you are like, oh, right, I forgot it. I have to take my paper. Oh, yeah. Um, no, that's not how I do it. Um, also, um, a spell, if you cast a spell or a ritual or whatever, it doesn't mean that the next day it will work already. It needs time to flow, depending on how hard it is to reach your end result. And uh, most of the time I wait like a month. And most of the time it happened in that month. Um, and then if it worked, I write it down in my book of shadows because maybe like a half year later I want to do that spell again because I needed more or a little bit different and then I can add things or um, delete things out of the whole ritual. Um, so yeah, it's already 11 minutes and um, I'm going to end this video now because at this topic I can I can keep talking about it because it's so special. Um, anyway, I really have to end the video. <laughs> um, sorry for the bad grammar and all the blah 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 but it's a hard topic to explain i that's my opinion it's really hard anyway i'll see you guys next week and blessed be